Greetings. This is your senator and friend, Alicia Chucky Hansen, keeping in touch with my people. Well, you recall Yuma Sequila and Tito Puente? Those are the people, the greatest of greatest, that our friend and family member, Iram Towers, played with. Great drummer. And so that I hope now that he's gone, his family will think on the great things he has done and the great music he developed with great musicians worldwide. I also want to highlight his work that he has done with the American Legion post 85. He has been a great legionnaire. So uh, to his family and friends and to all my little cousins, have my sympathy. Now moving on with another issue relative to as you know, I had a press conference last week, and one of the areas that I covered were the 8%. And now I'm hearing mumblings among some of my colleagues in the legislature, which are saying that maybe we should hold back in the reinstatement of the 8%. Well, let me say this. This I will not support, and I will not support it for various reasons. People have been hurt tremendously by that cut. Business people also have been hurt because if you didn't have the money, you couldn't spend. The cost of living is increasing. Don't talk about the LIAC and the high rate of power in our community. And nonetheless, your children and the support of your children. And we in the 29th legislature, which passed, okay, that passed legislature, including myself, put in legislation to reinstate that 8% come July 1st of this year. And I am going to do everything within my power to make sure that senators don't touch that law. We also appropriated the millions of dollars to cover that proposal, and the governor signed it into law. Good money. And in addition to that 8% issue, they don't understand the damage they have done to thousands of people, particularly government employees, with that 8%. Last week in the press conference, I revealed that that 8% also now affects your contribution. It's going to be two years of that 8% cut come July 1st. And do you know that you will have to pay in two years of contribution that this government should have never allowed to happen? And this is difficult. We have people that are getting ready to retire when they realize that they had to put back their retirement. They couldn't afford this new money that they will have to pay as a lump sum. Don't let us do more damage to our people. And I say us as an institution. I did not support the 8%. I didn't support it then. I don't support it now. I will never support it. The point is that we have to be vigilant. Don't go sleep. Don't go by the pretty talk and stimulation. This government has difficulties collecting revenues. But the fact is, monies are still coming in. We have monies in our coffers and we have to prioritize and the priority should not be to further cut our people's salary because you can't take blood out of stone. On another matter, I want to discuss with you the significance of that new proposal coming up before the legislature. I understood that through public airwaves that the governor has now settled with Hovensa. I am not making any commitment until I review that proposal, especially any extension to come. Because we know of the errors of the past. We need to have Hovensa. Hovensa need the people of the Virgin Islands. The same two cents that were 1965 can never have the same value today in the year 2013. Some will be looking at areas as those. We have an obligation to represent our people well. I am trusting that the governor has done diligence in his proposal to present to us, but I must look at it myself, evaluate it, and be comfortable with it so that all of us can win. All of us meaning our people of the Virgin Islands and the enterprise for themselves. Until next time, this is your senator and friend, Alicia Chucky Hansen, keeping in touch with my people.